Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and I received one very interesting question from my YouTube subscriber and his name is Ariel Tambis and he said I am working on a lighting design for a boardroom. My main objective is to ensure that during video conference all participants around the conference table to have a uniform level of 600 to 700 lux okay that's too high on their face without shadows so they can have been seen over the video so using the dialogues i can only create a vertical surface calculation to see the lighting level however i have seen in one of your videos that you illuminated a statue i would like to be able to do a simulation using 3d persons is that possible okay so this project of Ariel is all about a video conference project and it's a video conference room and in a video conference room it's really important to have a good uh, visual rendering in the face of the people who are in to the video conference so okay right now video conferencing is now become popular in offices or in a business world today and you can see right now people are uh, doing a conference or meeting through uh, videos instead of physical meeting and I'm going to show you some of the examples here and yeah you can see here there are people who are in the room and at the same time they are having meeting uh, from somewhere else from other countries or other offices and using the video conference to do the meeting and I have one example here and I would like to show you so this is the um, bad example of a video conference um, visualization in the face of the people. So on your left side, you can see this is a bad lighting for a video conference. And this one is a good lighting because the, the good modeling in the face of the person is amazing compared to the other one, which I think the light is coming from the top and it's a, there's a harsh shadow for, uh, on the bottom of his chin and it looks scary so this is a bad lighting for a video conference and there's another one here so you can see that the background or the light is coming from the back side and there's nothing from the front that's why the modeling on the face of the people is really not good and so dark and you cannot appreciate their emotions or their face because of the bad lighting so in a video conference project like this one good lighting is very important and we really need to consider the what we called um, the cylindrical illuminance instead of vertical or horizontal illuminance we need to consider cylindrical illuminance and uh, the, we have two options in dialax evo where we can create cylindrical illuminance we have um, either we can have either cylindrical or semi-cylindrical semi-cylindrical illuminance so i'll teach you how to do that later i will just uh, discuss to you first what is this cylindrical illuminance okay so this is a uh, semi-cylindrical illuminance because the face modeling is half side of the cylinder only and not the whole one so if the people is looking at the video or on the camera only the half of the cylinder we will need to consider in our lighting calculation so okay let's go now and see how we will do it in our lighting design calculation okay so i have one project here now this is one of our conference project and i will do the simulation for a cylindrical illuminous let us just imagine that this is a conference room and I put some TV screens there and I will teach you now how to put your cylindrical illuminance to, to, to achieve a good um, cylindrical illumination in the face and the good modeling um, of the face of the uh, person who are in the video conference okay so let's do it now so I created two different, um, I think three different lighting uh, calculations here in this room. One is um, this semi-cylindrical illuminance on a vertical plane. 
and again another semi-cylindrical illuminous on a horizontal plane and the other one is a point calculation point in a semi-cylindrical illuminance as well so how you will do that go and uh, 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 check the calculation object tab here and from here you will select your type of um, calculation point or calculation surface so go here okay let me tell you first I created those cylindrical illuminance uh, on the top of the chairs because this is the exact location of the people who are doing the video conference so you need to place accordingly your uh, calculation surface on top of the chairs not on the top of the table but up on uh, chairs and I place it 1.2 meters because I am assuming that the height of the face when the people are sitting um, is 1.2 from the floor so I made it um, 1.2 here okay so let's do it one by one now so go to the calculation object tab and then go to your first tab which is the um, calculation object and then select here you will go for either calculation point or calculation surface and then for example you will select cal calculation surface uh, click that one and then go to the calculation parameters and you will have lots of options here the horizontal the default one uh, the perpendicular the vertical the UGR and everything so just select the semi-cylindrical illuminance not the cylindrical but the semi-cylindrical one and then uncheck the others so the one that is selected is on the black tab or thumbnail and then once you do that go and just drag and drop like this and then place it right click move it it in the top of the chair like this so there's a question now is it um, is it okay to make it in the horizontal plane or in the vertical like this one so it depends on you because on every point of this calculation surface you can see here there are so many points here so I think this is five by five points on every points it is calculated as per a cylindrical illuminance that's why I have another option which is only a point value where it only calculates once compared to the plane which calculates for the uh, five by five grid which is of course everything will be calculated separately and then it will get the average value for each point okay so right now here this one I selected it and then I will place it according to the position which is 1.2 meter from the floor so just type 1.2 here and then it will uh, increase the height there so that's what I mentioned you either make it rotated like horizontal or uh, vertical like this one and you can see here on the plan view there is an arrow here the arrow means that is the orientation of the camera and that uh, on this example I'm assuming that the camera will be here pointing toward to that side so I have to make sure that this arrow will be towards the face of the person sitting in this table so instead of a zero I will rotate uh, the rotation of this semi-cylindrical luminance into 270 degrees and now you can see that it is rotated towards the face of the person sitting on the table you can just right click and move it and adjust it properly like this okay so now if you decide to make it a vertical plane like like this one you can just go and select again and then go to the positioning and make this one the rotation as 90 degree and when you do that now it is vertical so you will either do like this or horizontal like this so either vertical or horizontal because both ways it's calculated per points now the second option is just a point value like what I used here it's just a point it's a, a, just a one point but it can also also calculate the semi cylindrical illuminance so how to do that so go back to your calculation object tab 
and then instead of plain like this one you go again and select and then calculation point and then once you selected that one just go drag and drop here so now you have your points so go to the 3d to check that one you might be confused now it's pointing downward you can um, change the, the height again into 1.2 now it's there and again the orientation is from top to bottom so you need to reorient the, the aiming point into um, from the camera position so you just go and position it sorry make the properties as um, semi-cylindrical first here and check the horizontal and now when you selected the semi-cylindrical option here you'll see that it's immediately um, pointing on the vertical and then reorient it like what we did for the calculation surface which is we need we oriented it into 270 degrees so now it is pointing to the face of the person sitting on the chair from the camera uh, on the front which is C and this um, wall okay and then go to the plan view right click and then move it and then place it on the chair where you assume the people will be sitting okay so after that you just go and uh, run the calculation and see what is the lax value we achieved okay so we achieved now our lax value here after we finished our calculation so you can see in the point one it is 407 lux and Another one on the point two, it is only 361 lux because maybe uh, there is no contribution on the side of this table. And calculation surface, which is oriented and vertical, it's 372 lux, while on the calculation surface number two, which is oriented horizontal, it's 340 lux. So there is a slight difference on the lux value when you orient your calculation surface or either on vertical or horizontal it's just a little difference but um, if you if you want to achieve the 600 lux then you better use the vertical orientation of the calculation uh, planes or calculation surface and this one it has 386 lux and this one 390 lux because it it is a little higher because there is a contribution of lights from both sides of this table and this one is 323 and the other one and this overall which is 443 lux so based on Ariel's requirements he needs 600 lux which we did not achieve based on my uh, lighting layout and if I want to achieve the 600 to 700 lux requirements I need to add more lights either on the cove light or I need to get um, higher lumen output luminaires here and change it with that one or higher wattage and um, yeah just to check the uh, just to achieve the required lux level um, value and so yeah that's it and this is how we will do our uh, video conference lighting design calculations so i hope you learned something from this video tutorial and see you again on the next video bye